is an African no more. Oh, but I'm only a man. Ojo, why are you not eating? Nothing, Mama. Nothing. Is it because it's fruit salad and not rice and turkey or semo and egusi soup? Because I know if it's that one, you would have finished eating by now and requested for a second plate. You better not waste this food because you know what I can do. Don't you know that once in a while, it is necessary to eat something this healthy, something like fruit salad? Yes. If you don't eat it tonight, you will cover it for tomorrow morning because this will be your breakfast. Ojo, don't mind your mother. I was the one who told her to make this. Our doctor recommended we take more fruits and vegetables because of our health. Don't worry. Tomorrow night, you will have your semo and egusi soup, okay? Lord. I said eat! Mama Ojo, calm down! I have no choice. Hello? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Is this Mr. Femi? Yes, I'm the one. Who am I speaking with, please? Uh, this is Mr. Paul Chike from Creative Tech. Oh, Mr. Paul, thank you so much for the other day. I already have plans to come to your office on Wednesday, like you told me the last time. That won't be necessary, Mr. Femi. I have helped to secure the first meeting with my boss for that project. We will be having the meeting as early as 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? But tomorrow is Sunday. Yes, it was planned that way. Monday will be the first day we will be meeting with contractors. And you know the queue is long. So I convinced my boss to have a meeting with you first. He only can fix it for tomorrow, so it won't stop his scheduled meeting for Monday with other contractors. So this is your only chance to seal the deal before any other person. Thank you so much, Mr. Paul. I am really grateful. Don't thank me. You know what to do. Of course. I know what to do, but I am still very grateful. If you want it that way, send your house address to me. We will be having the meeting at your place. My place? Why? Shouldn't the meeting be at the office? That is our company's policy. We have the meeting at the house of our potential contractors so that we can meet with the family members and familiarize ourselves and also know where you live in case the contract goes south. Okay, I understand. I will forward my address immediately. Okay, I will be expecting it. Tomorrow, 8 a.m., get ready for us. Good night. Good night, Mr. Paul. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Femi, this one you just received a call and you are smiling. Did you win a lottery? Lottery? Of course not. Remember the contract with Creative Tech that I told you about? Yes. They'll be coming to the house tomorrow for the meeting and I might be given the contract. Wow! That's good news. But why the house? Why not your office? Well, they said it's their company's policy. Don't worry, I will give you more updates about it before we sleep. Okay. Ah, uh -uh. You have finished eating. So fast. Mama, what do you want me to do? You were complaining that it's not Semo and Egusi. That's why I'm not eating. But now that I've finished eating, you are still complaining. What do you want? Will you shut up? Mama, Ojo, calm down. I hope you heard what the father said. We'll be having visitors tomorrow. And I want you to be in your best behavior. Hope you've heard me. Yes, Mama. Good. I cannot bear it any longer. No, 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 no. Nonsense. Mojo, you need to calm down. Eh?
be this? What be what be this? What be this? Why am I wearing my mouth just clothes? Did we exchange clothes before we slept? Mamojo, wake up! Mamojo, wake up! Mama, what am I doing in your room? And why am I putting under these clothes? Ojo? What? <laughs> I am not your mother. Daddy, why are you putting on my mother's clothes? And why am I putting on your clothes? I am not wearing your mother's clothes. I think something strange has happened to us. I think I am in your mother's body. And you are in my body. Daddy, what do you mean? What happened to us? I don't know yet. Where is your mother? in the dust room. Eh? I'm also putting on his clothes. Is this boy playing pranks on me or what? What nonsense? Jesus. Mama. Daddy. I think we switched bodies. Switched bodies? How? How is that even possible? Switched bodies? Femi. Who did this to us? I can't abide this in Jesus' name. Ojo. Bring my phone. Oh. Okay. You're not Ojo anymore. Ojo, bring my phone. Hello? Who is on the line? Mr. Femi, you haven't saved my contact? Anyway, no problem. This is Mr. Paul from Creative Tech. We are a few minutes away from your house. I hope you are ready for us. Bye. Hello? 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 Why? Why today of all days? I think my village people are after me. Femi, who was that? It's Mr. Paul from Creative Tech. They're almost here. Ha! What are we going to do? <laughs> this is the devil at work. Daddy, what if you tell them to reschedule the meeting? That would be possible. It's either the meeting holds today or I ruin my chance of getting the contract. Ha! Femi, answer me. What are we going to do? Why is this happening to us? Eh? I need to call the pastor. This is the devil in action. Daddy, don't worry. Since I'm in your body, I can represent you. Represent me? How? You know nothing about the contract. 
You don't even know anything about my company or creative tech. That is, you can tell me. I am a fast learner. We have a limited time for you to learn a lot. So, Daddy, what do you think we can do? I can help you get this contract. Welcome to my oval abode, sir. Uh, Mr. Femi, what's wrong with your voice? Th this is not your normal voice. Oh, I just developed a cold a few minutes ago, and it gave me sore throat. A cold? In this dry season? Anyways, that's um, by the way. Are you ready for us? Of course. <coughs> You're welcome once again, sir. Thank you, Mr. Thank Femi. You. So, let's get down to the reason why we are here. Ojo? Can you hear me? Ojo? Ojo, can you hear me? Okay. We have gone through your company's proposal. Ojo? Hello, Daddy. What? I can hear you. Wait. What was that? Who is your daddy? Sorry, sir. Please. You can go on. Okay. Like I said, we have gone through your company's proposal and we find you to be very competent to be able to execute this project. But my question is, why should we give you this contract? Now, Ojo, listen to me well and clear. To answer this question, you must repeat after me. With over a decade in the agribusiness industry, with over a decade in the agribusiness industry, we have the experience. We have the experience, manpower and tools, manpower and tools necessary to make this project work out. Necessary to make this project work out. The way you want it. The way you want it. By giving you the value of the resources. By giving you the value of your resources. Why are you talking like that? Sorry, sir. It's the sore throat. Anyway, moving forward, what's the estimated duration of time of completion of this contract? Tell them we will complete the project. Hello, Daddy, I can't hear you. Mr. Femi or whatever your name is, why are you acting weird? Sorry, sir. Please, pardon me. So, to the question. Yes, mm -hmm. to the question. What is the estimated completion time for the project? Tell them eight months. Eight months. Ojo, eight months. Three months. No, 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 no. In three months, we will complete the project. Not three months, Ojo. Eight months. You are telling me that you can complete a project of this magnitude in just three months? Yes! Yes, of course! This is what we do. That is quite impressive. Thank you, sir. So how much would the entire project cost? Ojo! Listing well! I repeat, listing well! Do not dare make the last mistake! Tell them the total amount is 
million no joke. The total amount is ten million dollars. No. Yes. Not again. Ojo. What is this rubbish? Why will you tell them that high amount? They won't give me this contract anymore. Is there a problem, sir? Is it too much? No. Not really. I think it's actually quite fair. Considering the estimated completion time. Yeah. I think it's considerable. Exactly. Mamojo, you see what your son is doing? Is ruining my chance of getting this contract. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Tell me, I told you not to allow me to do this. I told you. Um, I'm happy by your track record. Um, I like your commitment to work. So, we're going to give you the contract. You don't mean it. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you. He did it. He did it. He did it. He got the contract. Mm, no, I, I, I think you deserve it. Thank you, sir. No, congratulations. And I hope you will not disappoint us. I promise. I won't disappoint. I will deliver as promised. That's great. Um, we'll stop by the office tomorrow to sign the necessary documents and make the first trench payment. Okay. No. I think that's about it. I think we should just shake hands and uh, <laughs> uh, say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Yes, I hope we'll get you not to support us. Of course. I will deliver as promised. <laughs> I hope so. All right. All right. We'll be on our way. <laughs> <laughs> And I am very proud of you. Thank you, Daddy. I told you. I told you I will help you get it. And you did it. You even got me more money. Even though you agreed on a lesser duration. Daddy, I'm sorry. No. You don't have to be. What matters is that you got the contract. What remains is that you go to my office tomorrow and complete the signing of the contract. Go to your office. Me. How? Why? Yes, son. You have to. You have started. You have to continue until we find a solution to this strange thing that has been falling upon our family. Daddy, how would it look like being you? It depends, my son. It depends. <laughs> And if you never know this, you better know it now. With your mama, Ojo, and there is no pizza. Now I lie. With your very big drama. Okay, Ojo, you are here. Behave yourself and act right. You must get this contract, okay? Who is this one again? Ojo, behave yourself. Let's go. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How is your husband? What? Husband? I'm not married, sir. I've been forgotten. Oh, right. Get back to work. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Hello? 
I'm just all the minutes. Um, let me call the number for you. Zero nine zero. Check your phone at this point, you shall have gotten a notification of the payment. <gasps> oh, oh, yes. Um, mm. We usually make payments in two installments 70% upfront and then the final payment upon completion of the project. But because you're working with an unusually short timeline, it's ready to make full payment. I hope you're not disappointed. Us. I won't disappoint, sir. I promise. Uh, 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 Mr. Femi, this is your voice. You need to do something about it. You're, you're beginning Mr. to sound Mr. like... Mr. Paul, <laughs> that is not even why we're uh, come here. Come on, I just had to point out. Uh, it's all right. Well, I think we're good here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Right. It's nice doing business with you. Uh, and I must say, you have, your office is quite nice. Thank you. Hello, Daddy. How did it go? The deal is signed and sealed. But I haven't seen the money. Eh? You didn't see the money because I didn't use the company's account. I used my account. You used your own account? Why? But Daddy, I am the one who signed the contract. Ojo, you were meant to use the company's account. Hello? Hello, Ojo? Hello? Can you hear me? Daddy, I can't hear you. Ojo? Hello, Ojo? Hello? Can you hear me? I am 10 million dollars richer. Ojo no day like to the year what? Trouble go they sleep. Ojo go go wake up. And mama would just say they give up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not seeing you this happy before. What's the secret? You got the contract? Yes. And you are? What do you mean by I am? I am Jane, your sexy secretary. The one you promised to get married to and divorce your wife. Yes. What is wrong with you? Why are you acting all weird? And your voice, you sound somehow. What is it? I have a little sore throat. Oh, sore throat. Wait. So you said I promised to marry you? Yes. And you know I love you so much. Eh, hey, baby! I know. In fact, let's get married now. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Oh, my baby. Let's go to my house. Let's go. I am ready to take things to the next level. Let's go, baby. <laughs> What's wrong? Talk to me! Your son used his own account to receive the money for the contract instead of the company's account. He used his own account? Femi, you see what we have to do something about this urgently. We can't continue to live like this. And the pastor's number has not been reachable since yesterday. What do you think we can do? Who can we talk to about what we are currently facing in our home? Who is 
there. Mama Ojo, it's Mommy Emmanuel and Mommy Dustin. Oh. Please open the door. Mama Ojo, are you there? Yes! Please! Come in! What are we going to do? Why did you invite them? Me? I didn't invite them! So why are they here? I am as surprised as you are! This is nonsense! Hey. Nonsense! Like as if you just saw a ghost. What's wrong? Huh? Well, um, it's like both of you are not in the mood to talk today. Well, Mama Ojo, we came to come and check on you since you didn't come to church yesterday, and that's very unlike you. Though. Oh, ah. that is not my fault. The blood yeah. of Jesus. Mama Ojo, why are you sounding like that? Ojo? Mama Ojo? What is happening now? Is everything okay? Eh? Ah, Mama, it seems we are not welcome here. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Please! Ah! Hey, Oluwa! Don't go! There is fire on the mountain. Yeah, 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 yeah! Ojo? Why are you sound like your mother? Wow, wow, wow. Well done. Okay. Ah, you got a lovely face, Fanny. Mm, I'm impressed. <laughs> Jane! What are you doing here? Huh? Femi, is this not your wife? Why is she sounding like you? Femi! Who is Jane? No. She's not sounding like me. She's sounding like a frog. One of the reasons I want to divorce her and marry you. Ojo, what is this nonsense? <laughs> Femi, did your wife just call you Ojo? Don't mind her. I guess she's drunk and saying double already. She better be drunk. Now listen up everybody. My name is Femi and I am the head of this house. Yes. And I do whatever I want to do. Mama Ojo, Ojo, there is a new administration in this house. And I am the ruler. Did I make myself clear? husband to Ghana so I had to follow him. Really? And you didn't tell the church? You just took our contribution money like that? Ah, Mama Ojo, we just wanted to keep it low key. Hmm. That is interesting. Low key my foot. There was no transfer anywhere. <laughs> Who wants to even transfer that man? I ran away. That's the truth. <laughs> 